How to crochet the Colleen Border Edge Stitch. For this stitch, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Knit Out of the Box, for providing today's yarn. Today, we are using their machine washable merino lamb's wool in the color graphite. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet. To begin this stitch, you must do a foundation chain in multiples of 4 plus 2. Before we begin this stitch, we need to do a prep row. So we'll start with a double crochet into the sixth chain from our hook. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, that's going to make a little loop there. Then we are going to start our repeat by chaining one. We'll skip the next chain and then do a double crochet. And we're going to repeat this sequence all the way across to the end of the row. So chain one, skip one, double crochet. Row one, we're going to begin by chaining one. Then we are going to do a single crochet into the first double crochet. So that's this one right underneath our chain one. Okay, then we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain one space. This will start our repeat. And then a single crochet into the next double crochet. And we will repeat this sequence all the way across until we reach the end of the row. When we get to the end of the row, we're going to do another single crochet into the chain space here. And then we'll do a final crochet into the third chain at the beginning of our turn chain. So we've got one, two, three. So we'll go right into there. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. Row two, we're going to begin by chaining three. That will count as our first double crochet. Then we're going to skip the first three single crochets. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, then we are going to do a double crochet into the next single crochet. And we'll actually do two more into that same stitch. Okay, then we're going to skip three more single crochets. One, two, three. And we will do it again. So we'll repeat this all the way across until we reach the end of our row. One, two, three. When we finish our last repeat, we're going to skip two single crochets and do a double crochet into the last single crochet. Then we'll turn our work. Row three, we're going to do a chain five to begin with. This will count as a double crochet and a chain two. Then we are going to start our repeat by doing a yarn over. We'll pick up a loop in the next double crochet. Okay, like so. Then we're gonna yarn over and draw through the first two loops. Then we will yarn over, go into the next one. Draw through, yarn over and draw through two loops. Okay, we have now have three loops on our hook. Then we'll do this again, yarn over, draw through the next double crochet. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Now we have four loops on our hook. Then we'll yarn over and draw through all four loops on our hook. So this is a double crochet three together that we just performed. Uh, or sometimes it'll be called a cluster. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we will repeat this sequence all the way across to the end of the row. When we reach the last four stitches in our row, we'll do another cluster into the next three double crochets. Okay, then we're going to chain two and we'll do a double crochet into the top of our turn chain. So we got one, two, three, right into the third chain, the top there. 
Then we'll turn our work. Row four, we're gonna begin by chaining one. Then we'll do a single crochet into the first double crochet. That's the one right below our chain. Then we will do two single crochets into the next two chain space. So we've got one and two. Then we'll do a single crochet into the top of the cluster. Okay, so that's gonna be right here. Now we're gonna start our repeat by doing three single crochets into the next three chain space. So one, two, and three. Then we'll do a single crochet into the top of the cluster stitch. And we will repeat this all the way across till we get to the last repeat in our row. Okay, when we get to the last repeat, we will have our turn chain from the row before. So we're gonna do two single crochets into this chain space. And we will finish up with one single crochet into the top chain of our turn chain. Okay, and then we'll turn our work. Row five, we're going to begin by chaining four. One, two, three, and four. This will count as a double crochet and a chain one. We'll skip the first two single crochets, so we got one, two, and then we'll do a double crochet into the next single crochet. This will start our repeat. Then we're going to chain one, skip the next single crochet, and do a double crochet into the next single crochet. Okay, and we'll repeat this all the way across. So we will, this will begin our repeat with a double crochet, chain one, and we'll start again with another double crochet, skipping a single crochet each time. And we'll do this all the way until the end of the row. And when we finish our last repeat, we will do a double crochet into the final single crochet to finish off the row. And then we can just finish off our end. And we have a cool little border that we can attach to any project that we want. And that's how we crochet the Colleen Border Edge Stitch. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.